Listen, I'm going to tell you guys something that you wish you knew earlier. Today, we're going over what exactly a Roth IRA is, how it works, where to host your Roth IRA at, and what exactly is my own Roth IRA. Let's get right into the video. So what exactly a Roth IRA is? Number one, IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account. So any IRA, that's going to be the definition of that. But a Roth actually means that it's tax before you put it in. So you actually are paying taxes before you put in the money instead of paying taxes on that compounded growth. So let's go over the, an example of that real quick so you guys fully understand this. If I contributed $6,000 this year and let's say the tax rate was 15%, I'm paying 15% of that 6,000 when I originally put it in. Now let's say 10 years later that 6,000 turned into $15,000. I could withdraw that tax free, but here's the catch. You can only withdraw the amount that you contributed unless you're 59 and a half years old. So let's say I contributed $6,000 to make that $15,000. That $15,000 is not going to be taxed unless you take it out early. I can take out that $6,000 that I put in. You could take out whatever you contributed to the account, but you cannot withdraw the gains until you're 59 and a half years old unless you wanna face some penalties. Now, if you're under 59 and a half years old and you withdraw the gains that you made on your account, you're gonna be facing number one, a 10% penalty, and number two, you're gonna be taxed as it was ordinary income, which defeats the whole purpose of the Roth IRA in the first place. And any gains that you get, just let it grow because you're just gonna be faced with penalties and taxes. You're able to withdraw the contributions. So it's really a no brainer to put your money in a Roth IRA. Obviously, it's in my opinion, do your own research. But I'm just telling you what works for me and what's worked for hundreds of thousands and millions of other investors out there. Now, where exactly can I host a Roth IRA? There's M1, there's Betterment, Wealthfront, Fidelity, Vanguard, Weeble, there's so many out there. So how do we choose one? Well, personally, you go with the best one out there compared to reviews and just compare it to other brokerages. So far that I found, Vanguard and Fidelity are the best following up with Charles Schwab. They're the top three that I've seen. Some people do use M1 as well, so it's up to you and your personal opinion. Obviously, do your own research with this. Me, personally, I like Fidelity just because of its user interface. Obviously, Vanguard is good as well, but I could purchase stuff from Vanguard on my Fidelity account, so I'd rather go with whatever I could use the best. Also, you gotta take in consideration the fees, commissions, and everything like that as well. On top of that, when picking the right index funds to invest in, you're gonna be looking at something called the expense ratio. But for right now, you're gonna to have to pick a brokerage, Fidelity, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, M1, whatever you pick, make sure you do your research. You can switch over your Roth IRA to another company. Like if you were in Fidelity and you don't like it, and you wanna switch over to Vanguard, you could definitely do that. Definitely don't count on that. Just do your research and try to stick to one. But if you need to switch over, you can. So don't stress yourself out over that. Honestly, my personal thoughts is Roth IRA is a no brainer. Let's get into my personal Roth IRA. Now, I'm not trying to get rich quick. This is something that I'm gonna have until retirement. So I literally have 40 something years plus. I like to keep it nice and simple. Index funds, I like to keep it. I'm not Kathy Woods, I'm not trying to make 50% on my entire portfolio every single year compounded. That's insane. We're keeping it nice and simple. We're staying up with the market maybe even outperforming it by 0.1 or 1% just on my Roth IRA. My long term is a different story. I work very hard on my long term account. So that's going to be coming up in a different video. But for right now, we're sticking to our Roth IRA. Boring is better with your Roth IRA. I'm not investing in any bonds right now because I again at, at 20 years old, I do not need to take that conservative approach when it comes to a Roth IRA. I can go a little bit more aggressive. Now here is my personal Roth IRA. Again, I keep it simple. Fidelity index funds work best for me. Fidelity's expense ratio is a lot lower compared to most index funds in the range. For example, the total market index fund for Fidelity is about 0.04% is about lower than Vanguard. That's not too much, but it eats up your gains over time. So I like to keep my expense ratios down compared to how good the index fund actually is. And right now, Fidelity and Vanguard, 
I would say they're about the same. I mean, Vanguard might outperform a little bit. Fidelity might outperform a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. Expense ratios are fine as well. As you guys can see in here, Fidelity Total Market Index Fund. Now I'm gonna give you guys the percentages. So for the Fidelity 500 Index Fund, which tracks S&P 500 essentially, this makes up about 30% of my Roth IRA. The Total Market Index Fund makes up about 28% of my total Roth IRA. Then Schwab makes up about 24% of my Roth IRA. The Vanguard Mega Cap Growth Index Fund. Again, like I said, you can invest in Vanguard stuff in your Fidelity account. This makes up about... 10% to 12% of my account. Then the bonds, like I said, I don't really invest in bonds. I just had it just to have it there. Me, as a 20 year old, I don't need to be conservative like that. I could be a little bit more aggressive and bonds still hasn't recovered since COVID. So I, I don't care about bonds right now. So that's under 2% of my total Roth IRA. And then we have the Fidelity International Index Fund, which makes up about 5% of my account. If you look at past performances with the foreign account, it's not doing too hot. I don't really care too much about about foreign funds and everything like that. I, I don't care as much. Yes, you know, during volatile times, this might help a little bit if, you know, the European market is doing really well compared to us. I don't care. I'll just stop looking at my Roth IRA. I don't, short-term stuff doesn't really affect me, which is another reason why people invest in bonds to offset, you know, the short-term volatility in the market. And it's very hard to talk about this as a 20-year-old because usually people are trying to get rich quick with Kathy Woods at my age. So it's a little hard out here. So if you're above the age of 25 to 30 years old, that is not trying to get rich quick. Let me know what your Roth IRA has and let me know how you guys like this Roth IRA. I would say at my age, people are trying to invest in Tesla and NVIDIA in their Roth IRA. They're trying to get rich quick with Kathy Woods. I get it, man, but I'm investing for the long term, not the short term gains. So I'm keeping it nice and simple. I contribute to this. It's $500 a month. You can't invest more than $6,000 a year. So I just put 500, easy 500. I'll just spread it out amongst my Roth IRA, keeping the same percentages usually. The S&P 500 index from Fidelity, I usually put the most in. And then the total market index from Fidelity, I put the second most in. And then you guys know the percentages for the rest. If this gets more than five comments about me doing a long-term portfolio reveal. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll make a long-term video. I did the Roth IRA video as you guys are seeing this right now. But if you guys want my long-term portfolio where I spend the most time, which is going to be a little bit different than this. Um, this is a, a slower long-term growth approach, you know, the slow route is really outperforming about 80% of investors right now. So let me know if you guys want to see my long-term port though. For reference, the stock market is down about 15 to 20% right now as this video from highs and my portfolio is up about two and a half percent right now. So I I'm definitely outperforming the market. I know what I'm doing a little bit, but you guys let me know if you guys want to see that video. Other than that, if this was helpful, just make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. If it wasn't helpful, then then just rewatch it. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey yo, Rand, turn that up.